Hola mi gente, welcome to Kiss My Crafts. My name is Maritza and I hope everyone is doing really well today. Um, I covered my table, I don't know, I feel like pulling this out. This is something my mom made a very long time ago. It was the last thing she made before she stopped crocheting um, for a long period of time because she had arthritis in her hands and she felt like she couldn't do it anymore. Until I came into the, well I didn't come into the picture, but I came into the picture with some yarn and a hook and she got back into it. Um, but this was one of those last things. My son was really little. And this came, this pattern came from a doily that her friend had. That was just the one elephant. And she borrowed it and just replicated it by counting all the stitches. And she made long panels. This is really big. She made long panels and then attached them and made a big tablecloth. Um, beautiful. It's gorgeous. People offered to pay her money for it and she just wouldn't because she put so much work into it um, that it just wasn't worth selling. And so now I have it. It's mine. <laughs> I would never sell it. I don't care if someone offered me enough money to live the rest of my life. And I know some of you are probably rolling your eyes and saying, yeah, right. But no, this can never, I, I could never replicate this. I could never repeat, do this again. And this is something that she was very proud of. I just wouldn't be able to part with it. Um, anyway, so, but I'm here to do an unboxing, which I already took it out, it's packaging, and I have a Distracted by Diamonds, um, kit for you that I bought, I happened to come across it on Etsy, because I don't, I don't hardly ever catch the, um, the kits, any, the ones that I like anyway, um, I don't have that luck, I really want a Geneva's Bauer, Geneva Bowers um, specifically neon but I've I've yet to catch it um, so this one was there and I grabbed it because I really liked it and I think the name is Marie Laveau I don't remember the artist name we'll look now Matt something I believe I've never heard of him so I'm not familiar with his name I can't remember it right now but it's around 60 by 60 and I just fell in love with this, the colors, the simplicity, the grooviness of it because it got a little bit of a retro feel to it. I love her big hoop, but let's look at the canvas. I I really like Distracted by Diamond's um, little logo. It's She's so cute. Okay. So this is my second Distracted by Diamond's. The first one I got was, is, um, oh, is that extra stuff? One of those, like, retro kids, the little cutesy one, kind of cutie, cutie dollish, but with hair and clothes on. Okay. All right. It's been so long since I had it distracted by diamonds. I'm not sure if this stuff is different. The canvas is different. I don't remember. It feels nice. Um, we have the strip diamond um, packaging. Um, and it seems like it has the um, DMC numbers on the packaging. Okay, so I'm going to... It's poured blue, so I'm going to roll it around the other way. And stay tuned after this unboxing because this is going to be a two-part video. There's something that I'm going to show you that I'm going to do, sort of like an experiment. Oh, this is beautiful. This is going to be fabulous. Damn it. Hold on, mi gente. I dropped everything in su madre. Okay. This is going to be so easy and quick to do. You know, this got to get blinged up. This might be the only thing I bling up. That would look cool stand, and it would stand out. So you get this a little bit more upgraded than your standard book toolkit because it has the white boat. It has a, a multi-placer. You have your wax um, and your blue pen. Okay, and then a resealable bag. Um, 
you get this little extra storage I have a few of them in an emergency you have a few of these you can kit up something if all your containers are taken up like mine um, you have a color list an inventory sheet if you want to call it that with a little um, note from Robin who's the owner her and her husband and I was right it is Marie Laveau by Matt Lyon isn't that beautiful oh my goodness so you have I don't remember can I pull her other one out I think this is nicer or better or different than excuse me I had to pick something up than the other one hold on a second me head thing No, I, I, I felt the other one. I didn't want to take it out from where it's at because I may have an avalanche. <laughs> but I opened one end and it's the same. It's the same. It's a nice canvas. It's nice and thick. It's got the scalloped edges, surged and scalloped. What does Abigail say? Scalloped for your pleasure. <laughs> I wasn't there for that joke, so I'm not sure. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what it means, but this is beautiful. It has 30 colors and you have your thumbnail up here. Okay. I'm sorry for the glare. Very typical, um, symbols. Nice a nice size color list and they're on it's on both sides one on the bottom left here and then you have the one on the top right this has beautiful colors in it and the the um drill field is really nice wait i'm trying to see if i could show it to you without the glare it's very clear right I'm loving this it, it's it is very sticky you have her, her the company name up here with that cute little logo and then you have the name of the um which I like of the um, artwork and the artist name down at the bottom. I really love this. I'm glad I got it. It was one of those impulse buys that right after I bought it and got confirmation, I was like, man. Because then I feared the next day or the day after that she would upload a Geneva Bauer. And then I would have been pissed off at myself because I wasn't going to buy that too. Um, but I haven't gone back to look, so I don't know. And if she has, don't tell me. <laughs> I love her. Let me see if I can get good. Look at the the um, retro design at the bottom. Very 70s. I love it. I love it. She's gorgeous. Let's look at the drills. I want to start it. <laughs> I'm trying not to make noise, but I think I'm making more noise going slow than going nice, you know, than going faster. Pulling these things apart. The drills are pretty. They're shiny. There's some really pretty colors on in here.
do you like the number, the DMC number being um, said out loud or the colors? Because I tend to just show you the drills. You know, sometimes I'll say, oh, there's a nice green. Here's the suit. Oh, this is $9.39. I guess. Oh, there's no 310 in here. I thought this was going to be 310 and it's not. It's 939, which is absolutely fabulous because there's going to be a nice blue hue instead of just all black. Awesome. I love it. Is there 820 in here? I coin you know. Oh, but there's 823 and guess what I got? I got a T T Ma um mail coming and 823 is in there and so these are 9.39 they're so dark there's a lot of this my multi placer is going to have a ball how pretty these colors are Very pretty colors. There's 30 colors, but there's a lot of bags because some of the colors are like the 741. There's like three of these. That's one of the background colors, which I'm going to say it's that one. This one here. Because when I point it over here, you can't see. <laughs> So like I was saying, do you like to hear the DMC numbers? Um, do you want me to say, oh, this is a nice orange and, you know, or should I just shut up? <laughs> Very pretty. It's no longer available last I looked. Um, but I will. Um, how beautiful. I will link her Etsy shop down below. She uploads new stuff every day except Wednesdays and Thursdays. This is the, the latest schedule that I read on the Etsy shop. Um, Wednesdays and Thursdays she takes off so she doesn't upload anything new. Um, but every other, all the other days she uploads at midday Eastern Standard Time. And I think it's 8.30 p.m. So, if you want to see what she has, you got to go stock. Look how beautiful this. I got to start this. What can I... Is there an event? <laughs> this would have been great for the Purple Lupus event. Purple for Lupus, I think it was called. Mindy and Paula. Oh, my goodness. I want to start her. She's gorgeous. Look at all these purples. This is going to be a pleasure to work on. I got to finish the links. I'm doing pretty good with the links. I'll show it, I'll show it to you. Um, oh my goodness, I love her. I just love her. I really do. Sorry for the glare. Look how gorgeous that is. I want to, I want to do this one. This will be so quick. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me show you the win, the uh, blue winter links. What I'm, what I've done so far. So I'm working up here. This is for the Sheena Pike event with um, crafting with Shay and Mindy, Mindy's diamond moment, moment. Um, so I'm working on this part. I am loving this kit so much because look at the amount, all the white that you see, those are ABs. This kit is full of ABs. They gave you the two big bags, two. 
of the white AB, the 141. And the only enhancement that I've done, and I think I'm going to do, is I blinged up the um the hanging diamond to make them glow more. Um, let's see if I can show you. I put on the outside here that is sky glow glass and then these are original sparklers and then instead of because this was supposed to be a b's wait i gotta get it in focus this is supposed to be a b's here i put the quad cubes or cube quads um same thing over here i gotta i'm having issues here trying to show you without it getting <laughs> okay look at that look at that oh my goodness oh my goodness me gente you saw all that this is really really sparkling beautifully ow ow i just love it i love it i love it so yeah the quad cubes original sparklers as the chain here you see that i <sighs> I can't I can't with this it's just gorgeous and so all that is the white AB it's beautiful if you have this in your stash go do it <laughs> start it you're not gonna regret it you're gonna regret not doing it because I'm glad I have it for this event but I really, I'm not sure why I waited so long to do this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So let me get on with this experiment I'm going to do. Got to get this out the way. Now, do you guys remember me talking about the diamond paintings that are being printed in a new way? Um, that's not that you don't see the pixels and I was naming it non pixel printed as opposed to pixel printed um, Let me find you a pixel printed one. That's very obviously pixel printed. Hold on a second Let me have this. Oh Let's just look at this I'm not sure that I'm working on. You can see each symbol is one pixel, okay, and that's how it's printed. Squares. Now you may have heard this is where I heard it from was Rambling Rose. She touched on it, and I'm sure that she went into more depth in an earlier video, but I just couldn't find anything that. Uh, any of the titles in her videos that might have given me a hint that that's what it was about but she did mention it and it piqued my interest and I went to look at some of my smaller Amazon paintings that I've gotten recently and I noticed that they are printed differently you don't see the pixels in the print like you do with you know like you're seeing here see the little squares those are pixels each symbol is printed as a pixel now when that piqued my interest and I heard Mindy touch on it in a video and then recently she touched on it a little bit more because she got kits that were not pixel printed so I happened to buy this one which I did not show or unbox on the channel um, this came from Amazon okay I don't remember the name of the company um, but I will link it down below because it's just really beautiful and this is a really really good example of a picture that's printed without the pic not non pixel printed I'm not sure what the proper term is um, but you see it's there's no pixels it's all just the symbols on top of the actual image printed on the canvas it's not pixel by pixel let's go to another area 
and so when I first started talking or I mentioned it in another video I thought to myself and I said it in the video I wanted to do an experiment I would like to have the same image twice same signs in a pixel printed print type and then the new way of printing so where do I go I go to Aliexpress and I found this same in image on who are can oops <laughs> Who a can, okay? I almost said who or can. <laughs> so I reach out. This is these are the drills for this the Amazon. This is the one from Amazon. It's a 30 by 40. So I find the this image on who a can, but um in round and in square. So I reach out and I ask, is the image pixel printed or not pixel printed because I need it I need a copy of it I need in pixel printed form <laughs> yo this is becoming a tongue twister um so the guy reaches it back out to me responds really quick and says do it as a custom so it made sense to me so I do I do it as a custom as a 30 by 40 however they did a true 30 by 40. This is not a true 30 by 40. This is actually a 25 by 35. Okay. Um, so I was like, when I saw the whole can come in and I opened it, I was like, oh man, this is a true 30 by 40 drill size. So I didn't think it was going to be an ac accurate comparison until... Now you see how nice, you see how this looks, right? You see how clear this image is? There's a lot of detail, but it does not look pixelated at all because it's not printed. It's not pixel printed. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the proper term, but look how pretty that is. I haven't had a double-sided adhesive. I was a little disappointed at that. I didn't even think about it. Um, but check this out, mi gente. Does this still not look better than the pixel printed? how clear this bird is as opposed to here where the bird looks pixelated the spoon the well you can't see the yarn because I didn't open it that far let me open another one the canvas came it came in very good condition it was rolled on a foam roller um and it laid out flat very easily and I have had it flat since I got it I didn't roll it back up but it's been so long okay now look at the yarn look at the yarn here it don't even look like yarn because this picture this image printed this way should have been bigger because of the detail as of now printed this way don't need to be as big it can be a 30 by 40 or a 25 by 35 and you'll get a good image now the true test is when the drills are on is it going to look this good is it going to look better than the pixel printed or is the pixel printed going to look better and that's the experiment that I'm going to do so for snacks with friends Oops, oops, sorry, I banged Stiffy again. <laughs> Snacks with friends, this is what I'm going to do. I was going to do the one that Sandra sent me, but I really want to do this experiment. Um, And see how, oh, now I can't get it back on. That sucks. I really hate double-sided adhesive, but this is a small painting. That's the top. Look at that bird. It 
And look at this bird. Tell me this one don't look better. So isn't this an interesting experiment? So I'll keep you guys up updated on the progress as I go along. I have confidence that I'm gonna go I'm gonna do these two little snacks pretty quickly. Um I'm actually I have a plan to work on half of the painting. Okay, do one, work on another half of the painting, of the other painting, and then work on the top half, and then work on the top half of this one. Um, and then that's it. And then show you, and then you tell me what you thought was look, looks better, or what you think looks better. Um, the drills for the whole can came pre-bagged, which I'm pretty happy about that. And you know what? They have so many similar colors. It's almost like it's the same kit. Wait, I had seen another one that was very similar. This one is, it, there's one down in up in there. Well, no, that's a little lighter. I think it's over here. There's a lot of similar colors. The grays. There's almost the same blue. This one's a little deeper. So this is going to be cool. Don't worry. This is the whole can. And this is the Amazon. I already know. Um, so stay tuned for that, mi gente. Anyway, this is all for now. I just love this image. This is all for now. Thank you for joining me. Um, and you know what to do until my next video. Take care and besos. Mm.